Together.js is a JavaScript library. You include in two lines of code, and you get all kinds of collaboration utilities on any web page. A user comes to that website, they just click that button, and all of a sudden you get all these collaboration tools that they can use with someone else on that website. You can both see where each other are, you can see what you're looking at, where your cursors are, you can edit fields, you can interact with forms. Any application that has any interaction with people can be extended to support Together.js so that a drawing application can have two people drawing at the same time. If you're like working on your taxes on some tax website, you can't figure this out, you send that link to your accountant, that accountant joins the website and they help you with your taxes in real time. Any creation can be done with two people. Not just like screen sharing, you're not actually doing exactly the same thing, but you can, you're both simultaneously working with the website while also being able to see what the other person is doing. And so if you start to add together JS to these websites, then it becomes just one big social network, essentially. The goal is to make collaboration on the web a primary function of it. It's like looking over your shoulder, except both of you are looking over both of your shoulders. This isn't just a tool for developers. This tool is for anybody who does any authoring on the web. It comes as kind of a very complete package, so it's just a small amount of integration effort. So out of the box, you get collaborative text editing, shared cursors, text chat, and audio chat over WebRTC. From that point forward, you might then want to add on more features or more integration with your own website, but it really kicks you off with a lot of things right away. So while a lot of people have tried this in the past, they haven't built it for the web, they haven't built it open, and made it so that anyone building things for the web can be this collaborative. 